photography, uh, say I'm uh, in the forest and I'm doing nature photography and I, I have clothes on I may or may not want to get dirty. So you take something like a clean garbage bag, lay it on the ground and use that instead of getting your pants all dirty and stuff like that because when you're involved in a photo capturing an image, if you're turned on to what you're taking a picture of, you may lose track of time, that's not always good, but it's a great experience most of the time. You may lose, um, may not be aware of everything you're doing. I'll give you an extreme example. I did a lot of photography in my days in, uh, out west in one of the national parks. And there was often wildlife, not always big elk, but uh, smaller animals and sometimes really dramatic flowers and colorful things that would occur at the side of the road. And one time I saw something that looked really interesting. I stopped, I got my camera gear out, and it was quite small. I put my macro lens on, and I got down, and this was the main road into the park. I lose, lost sense of where I was. This can happen occasionally, whether you uh, plan for it to do so or not. And so here I was, down literally on the ground, I. I hadn't got a protective uh, thing like that piece of plastic. And I was taking this picture and of course I was losing track of things and getting in closer and trying to get the right angle, had my leg up and all of a sudden I heard the screeching of tires and this car screeches to a halt and I, I, I get up and, and I realize, well the guy comes running out of his car and said, oh my god we thought you were dead or being hit by a car or something. So you know that's that's the kind of thing, it's one thing for me as, an, as a photographer taking pictures of mushrooms or frogs or whatever it might be on the forest floor, but um, you do have to think of uh, sometimes um, how to prepare for it, realizing that sometimes it doesn't matter what you do, 